You're here. Chiori! How are the new outfits coming along? Uh, you look kinda tired. Just a few steps left now. I've handed the rest over to Ilof. We should be able to make tonight's show. Wow, that's cutting it real close. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? Don't worry. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but... Wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? His factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can stop by for a tour. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Well, when you put it that way... Anyway, Uter's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. All right. Ooh, it's really creepy. Paimon would never choose to buy anything from a place like that. You make a good point. Let's all be on our guard. This place is filthy! Are the clothes from Uter's shop seriously made here? <sighs> Look over there. Ooh, that water looks super nasty! <laughs> oh, Paimon can smell the stench from all the way over here. <laughs> and I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter? So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. He's been using all manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. Should... should the clothes made here even be worn? Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. That's terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. This way he won't be able to try and deny anything in court. All right, let's keep going. This place seems like some kind of warehouse. Ugh, and it stinks too. Huh? Uh, what's going on? Our way in's been blocked. Oof. Seems like he knew we'd be coming. You did say he knew you really well, didn't you? Yes, and that's because we used to be partners. But you're practically at each other's throats! Now you're telling us you used to work together? When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. We shared the same goal, so we decided to work together. In the beginning... We both wanted to make clothes that would stand out from the crowd and shatter tradition. The kind of clothes that would turn heads and leave people in awe. But with every criticism we received, and every sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of, and we parted ways. For my part... I gambled it all, and devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course, but I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. In the end, well... You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. I don't know the exact details of what happened after that. All I know is, after I opened Chiori Boutique, he's harassed me every year since. <sighs> he's just jealous of what you've accomplished. A guy like that doesn't deserve your sympathy. Well, let's focus on getting out of here first. Missing the show is as good as letting him win. Uh, there are some control panels over there. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Finally, the entrance! At last! Oh, 
Those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. We've collected a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not giving away this time, Uter. The evidence on your person, you mean. <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Oh, but this is a legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance! <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work, and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices, too, you know. After all, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain ideal. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal. And it's not going to change. <laughs> well, once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall, they'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? <sighs> you weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. <laughs> it's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Well, good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. <sighs> You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. You! Yeah, just leave this guy to us! No, you go instead. But he has a gun! It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Catch up with us soon! Trying to leave, are we? I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <clears throat> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <clears throat> Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. Uh, how about this? A little more to the left. Like this? Hmm. Perfect. Phew. Oh, that looks great! Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? Of course. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well, how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troupe could use one of those. Hmm. 
our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm, how about... Ah, uh, the Hangry Bird. <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be... two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. And a bit cramped. Miss Giori, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the Traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You, you really mean it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something other than a costume? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? Um, uh, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, so you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. What? No, that's so embarrassing. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? Of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show, appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization, using weaponry in public, Hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Um, Chevras, we can explain. If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the Special Patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? Ugh, you nearly scared me half to death. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had, would you have approved? No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Well, I would say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the flu of Sandra, and the man responsible, all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful, if you ask me. All right, I won't argue with you. You can have this one. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll have to take a rain check. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> you know him well. Thanks again, Shelfress. My pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Traveler, Paimon. Could you go wait for me at that place with a view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. I didn't know you were such a slacker.
Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. I didn't know you were such a slacker. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. <laughs> 